What is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. So my youngster and I decided to uh, take the beast out for its first maiden highway drive. Look at that. And uh, I gotta say man, I'm really impressed for this 33 year old car, just how well it drives on the highway. And we stumbled a pro uh, and we stumbled upon this beautiful little alcove and thought, you know what? We need some Instagram photos here. So that's exactly what we did. So yeah, this is uh, this is the beast if you're new to the channel. This is a 1990 Mustang 5 liter LX. We picked this up just a few short months ago with the intent of doing some pretty gnarly things to it. And uh, we are going to do that. However, for the summer here, we are just going to enjoy it just the way it is. I mean, we're gonna do some small things here and there, but we just want to cruise. So we decided let's take it for a cruise. And this is what we cruised out to. Not a bad Sunday drive, if you ask me. Not a bad Sunday drive. So if you remember from my last video, I was having a little bit of drivability issues, which uh, was attributed to my spark plug wires and distributor cap failing. We got that taken care of. We threw them in, purrs like a kitten now. The only thing now is we've got a stuck valve or a bad valve, we're burning some oil. Not a lot, but uh, enough that it's irritating. So we are gonna have to do some heads on this thing eventually. But um, we knew we were gonna do that. So it's not that big of a deal. It just kind of sucks that it's gonna fast track something I wanted to do down the road when we did the bottom end. But it is what it is. It's a 33 year old car, so. We're not going to complain. All right, so we made it back from our test drive slash cruise there, and uh, everything went on. Went everything went without a hitch. Car drove great. Thing drives so good for a 33 year old car. But uh, I decided I wanted to dress up my engine plate. If you remember from my previous video, you probably noticed all the paint flaking off the 50 badge in there, and that's been driving me nuts. So I'm going to paint it. And what I did is I sprayed it red. And here, I'll show you here. So I sprayed it red, and then I just used a blade to take off all the high spots. And now I'm going to go over with some 220, 400, and 600 grit sandpaper, and then give it a polish, and we'll see what it looks like. So yeah, let's get at it. So ideally you want some sort of a flat sanding block, but uh, I don't have one here, so I'm gonna make do, and I'm just gonna do it by hand. It's it's not really a showpiece. I just want to dress it up a little bit, so we'll see how it looks. All right, there's 220. Let's clean this off and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's working out great. Can you see that there already? Just the 220? Let me bring it back to the light. Yeah, let's keep going with this 220 here. Still a lot of discoloration right here, so we're gonna hit it again. Looking good. Think a little bit more with the uh, 400. Definitely. Oh shoot, apparently I left my ratchet out yesterday. Now we're gonna hit this with some uh, 600. So, totally not necessary, totally not necessary to do it in three steps. I probably could have went, you know, right from 400 to 600 and it would have been fine, but I wanted consistency. All right, there we go. So like I was saying, yeah, totally not necessary to uh, hit it with so many stages, especially if you're not going for, perfe for perfection. But I um, mean, you can see just that you probably can't see. So I'm going to keep working on this. So I'll, I'll come back to you in a second here. All right, have a look at that. Let's get it in the light here so you can see that reflection. Turned out pretty good. I could go a little more, but... 
to be honest that is perfectly a-okay with me so let's get this beast slapped back on the car all right we got our hardware i gave the hardware a little bit of a polish as well just to just so it didn't have some rusty bolts holding it in so let's uh slap this in all right moment of truth eh I mean, it looks cool. Kind of. Only reason I did it red is because of the uh, MSD cap. So, yeah. I don't know <laughs> how I feel about it. To be honest. <laughs> well, good thing it's an easy change. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, let me slam these uh, screws in there. Okay. You know what? Let's get all four started in there, and then we'll tighten them down. All right, let's zoom out so you can see a little more. And these don't need to be very tight. These are just barely snugged and they will be perfectly fine. Yeet, that thing went all crooked. This motor is hot. I just dropped my youngster off at school with the car, so she is cooking. There we go. Let me know what you guys think. I, I think it looks okay. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's different. Definitely different. I think it'll look good in the sunlight, but uh, now the next task at hand is to clean this beast. We're just gonna use a waterless car wash on it. See if you can see it on the hood. Yeah, you can see right there. That's, that's dust, that's how dusty she is. So, let's give this baby a bath. Get her ready for tonight. All right, so we got this bad boy quick detailed up. I went ahead and gave the interior a quick little wipe down. I didn't vacuum it, because it's not really dirty. I uh, did all my glass, wiped down some stuff in the engine bay. Looks pretty good. I didn't use tire shine, because I don't like tire shine, but I did go ahead and clean the wheels. So, yeah. We are ready for this evening. If you're wondering where my antenna is, it's actually in the back seat. I'm in the middle of doing a little bit of R&D with a 3D printed antenna delete. So I'll grab it here and I'll show you kind of what I had in mind. But if you're wondering, that's where that is. So yeah, she shines up pretty dang good. So now it's time to get on with the rest of my day and wait for our meeting spot to be posted. We keep it, uh, I don't want to say a secret, but it kind of is a secret until a few hours beforehand. And then we put it out, we meet, it's good. We'll see you there. Well, that was a fail. All that work getting the car ready for a car meet. And then it gets canceled. So <laughs> it's been a couple days since I posted that last little bit. And uh, in the meantime, as you probably can tell there's no interior in the rear of my car i have made arrangements to get that uh big giant dent can you even see how bad that is it's really hard to pick it up on camera i think that does it there i call it a big giant dent it's not even that bad but the dent on the rear quarter there repaired so we are going to drop this thing off at the body shop and they're going to do some pdr work on it and see what they can do if they can make it decent we're going to leave it if not, we're going to look at painting the car. As much as I don't want to do that because I love the original paint, I want my car to look nice. So stay tuned. All right. So as you can see, we got the car back. I slammed the interior back in because I hate leaving things undone. But um, I got to say, man, what these guys can do with the PDR is so impressive. It's not perfect. And I knew it wasn't going to be, but it definitely looks better. Let me flip you around and show you what I'm talking about here. Look at that. Unreal. Like you can definitely still see some ugliness, especially right here. But that is a thousand times better. Let's see if we can get a better angle. It's 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 even harder to pick up than it was before, but I'm very happy with that. For the money I spent on that, that was money well spent. The uh paint chips here, I got a guy coming. Whoa. The paint chips here, I got a guy coming next Tuesday to take care of that, as well as some other imperfections on the paint there. But uh, yeah, I am 
I am super happy. So yeah, I slammed it back together because I don't like leaving things undone. I don't know why, it's just kind of the way I am. But uh, I just got to put that speaker in. The reason that is not in is because I have no right side speakers coming from my deck. So, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of diagnostics as to why I have no right side speakers. But yeah, I am super pumped. So let's, let me see. I got to get this on a better angle here. So you can still see on that one top dent, there's, there is some imperfections on there, but for what it was, as you can see, that is night and day difference. I am happy with that. So that is super good. So the uh, touch up guy is going to take care of this for me. Where is it? Right here. He's going to take care of this as well as on the driver's side rocker. Uh, those ones there. And he spotted a few other ones there that he wants to take care of. So we're going to end this video off here. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for next week when this uh, touch-up guy comes and works his magic on here. Because I'll be sure to get some video of that. So, Until then, have a great day. We'll see you next time.